Hi everyone, Malibu Sean Bateman here again. Well, I want to talk to you Americans right now, and well, your election is coming up real soon, and well, I want to talk about a couple serious things about one of your candidates, Donald Trump. Sure, he is a brilliant man with his business sense, but what he's preaching is kind of wrong. He's think about this. He is slamming every creed, religion, women, people with disabilities, and hell. He is almost like a modern day version of Hitler. And think about this. You want a guy who is preaching hate to be the president of America, which I'm not gonna want to see. Because think about this: if Donald Trump gets elected president, think about this. Every country in the world may or may not bomb America. Th you have to think like that. Would you want every country to hate America even more than when Donald, I mean George W. Bush was in power and do something worse than what's happening in the world right now? Just a thing like that once in a while, and some and America has to, and if Donald Trump becomes president, he'll try to stop legalizing marijuana. He'll cancel the the gay marriage law, and hell, he'll be one of the most hated. Pr people in the world if he gets becomes president. Hell. He wants to, to have his daughter as a lover. Think about that. I think that it's morally wrong if, to say that myself. And, and if Hillary becomes president Chances are that she'll pull what her husband did when, when he was in power. Sleep with an intern. And then, after a few years, he's going to ask, it's nothing anymore. You're doing a good job in hell. Think about this. If a Republican comes into power, there'll be crap lot of wars that he, he that the president the Republican president will put out but when a Democrat was in power the wars stop and and it's a lot of boom in business and what on hell memory serves me right when George W. Bush was in power he was a Republican He was saying that he's going to start a war on terrorism, and look what happened. He was going to try to get Bin Laden and Hussein. Nothing. But when President Barack Obama, an African American president, became power, he was a, a Democrat. He got all this, all the good things happening. Gay marriage became legal. Some states got marijuana legalized. He caught Bin Laden and Hussein. Which it's pretty awesome. He cut he got the Dow Jones up, he had biz he has more people becoming working it now and which is pretty nice seeing a sec America rebuilding with someone who wanted change, but now it, his term is almost up, 
which you have to have two term limit up in, in, uh, in America, which I can see, but sometimes I like to see if if I was making drills in America, I like to see we elect our keep the president in for as long as possible. And if he every four years, if he's doing a good job, we keep him in. And if he's not, put his ass out to keep seeing how it's good instead of having. A new two new challenges every eight years. If if it's two terms, you know what? Keep keep the person in. So until we have a new con con person to take them out, it's like a world title. You have to hold on to to it until you lose. That's like to see what America should do. But I'm not an American. I'm just some Canadian guy. So. America, when November comes around, you choose who you want as your leader. A Democrat who may continue on what Obama's doing, or some America, some tycoon who doesn't give a damn about a creed, your religion, or if you're disabled or, or whatnot. You, you people. Decide this November, and besides, I got family in America. I want them to be safe. Please, America, do what's right.